But how does raising taxes on corporations lower the cost of gas, the cost of a used car, the cost of food for everyday Americans? So look, I think we encourage those who have done very well right, especially those who care about climate change uh, to support a fair ta tax code that doesn't change, that doesn't charge manufacturers, workers, cops, builders, a higher percentage of their earnings, that the most fortunate people in our nation and not let this, this, that stand in the way of reducing energy costs and fighting this ex existential problem, if you think about that as an example, and to support basic collective bargaining rights as well, right, that's also important. But look, it is, you know, by not, if, without having a fair tax code, which is what I'm talking about, then all, every, like manufacturing workers, cops, you know, it's not fair for them to have to pay higher taxes than the folks that, who are, who are, who are not paying taxes at all. Discrimination and disparities. Much of the social retrogression that took place is traceable to the central tenet of the prevailing social vision that unequal outcomes are due to adverse treatment of the less fortunate. Yeah. Okay. So grant that argument that they're not paying attention. They're not, they're not squaring up, attempting to square up intentions with what emerges. Yeah. But here's the bit that's still baffling to me. You mentioned the Moynihan report where uh, his, his central finding was, again, the breaking down of the black family mm -hmm. and the out of wedlock birth rate then was 25%. Now it's over 70%. By the yeah. way, it's over 30% among whites now. Yes. That was more than 50 years ago. Mm -hmm. A half century of failing to, to try to align intentions with results? What is this willfully? Why is it that we still have this prevailing social vision that seems not only not to ask what are the results, are our fine intentions actually achieving the ends we wish for, but almost refuses to look at the massive evidence to the contrary? It was counterproductive. So what's going on? Partly what's going on among professional politicians is that it can be the end of a whole career to admit that you were wrong. Imagine you're president and you send men into battle in a war and they get wiped out and you say, you know, we really didn't have to fight that war. Uh, <laughs> that, that is not something you're going to say. It's something you're not likely to say to yourself. There'll be a thousand rationalizations and the ability of the human mind to rationalize is just phenomenal.